Hi, welcome back. This is Arish from jtechnics.com. This is a video series on Google Maps API. In our last video, we looked at drawing rectangles and circles. In this video, we will have a look at polylines and polygons. If you have looked at Google Driving Direction Services, you might have come across polylines when you look at a route map from a source to destination. You can use polylines to mark the roads or driving directions and polygons are basically used to highlight a geographical area like a city or country or any area. To create a polyline there are four steps. First is we need to declare array of coordinates that is array of lat long objects. Then we need to create a options for the polyline. In this option you can provide the color of the line the weight of the line that is how big or thin you want the line to be and the third step is you create the polyline object using google.maps.polyline and the last step you set this polyline a map to it let's look at a demo i have a basic map here which displays a map something like this. Now let's draw a line from say California to New York and to Mexico. We'll build an array to display that. The first step is to create an array. Let's say we'll say destinations equals to array. I have an array already declared. I just copy that. I have three entries in this array. I call the array destinations. The first coordinate is the California. The second coordinate is the New York. And the third is the Mexico. So I have an array of lat long objects. The next step is to create polyline object. Before that we will define polyline options. This is a key value map. So I will give path equals to the destinations array. Next step is to create the polyline object. Google dot maps dot polyline and pass these options. And the last step is to set map to this polyline object dot set map the map object that we earlier created save this file and let's reload our map as we see there's a line drawn from California to New York and to Mexico by default the color is black and it has a particular thickness we can customize this using the options. To change the color we use stroke color and say let's use red. And to change the thickness of the line we can use stroke weight. Let's say I will give pixel size of 4. And let's reload. As now we see it's changed to red and slightly change in the thickness. Let's modify it, let's make it say 10, it's pretty big line. So you see the thickness can be modified. And the next thing we have to look at is something called MVC array. MVC array is something provided by Google Maps. It's very similar to normal array. The only advantage is that when you update this array, dynamically this is updated in the map as well. This allows us to instantly change our polyline on the map. Let's look at an example. Let's say, let's say we can draw a line to a particular location wherever user clicks. Say user clicks on Toronto 
we'll draw a line from Mexico to Toronto or Chicago you can draw a line to that so to do that let's get the click event on the map before that let's change this to this array to MVC array Google dot maps dot MVC array this is similar to normal array so we can still use the push and push some lat long objects next is we'll set a on click event on map that's that can be done using google dot maps dot event dot add listener on the map object and the click event and the function to get the current polyline we can say this returns the array let's say current path equals to polyline dot get path so whenever user clicks the e object will contain the coordinate where user clicked so to the current path array we will push the e dot lat long this lat long is an object representing a coordinate where the user clicked so what we have done is we converted our normal array into mvc array and when user clicks on any location in the map we get the current polyline's path and add a new entry to that array let's see how this works so by default we have these three coordinates connected let's say i click on minnesota so you see the line is drawn from the last point to minnesota let's say i will click on somewhere near nevada so it keeps updating the array wherever whenever user clicks on something on the map so that's the main advantage of using mvc array now let's look at polygon polygon is similar to polyline but it's a closed shape that is if you provide a particular set of points like the array we provided it connects all the points and finally the first and last coordinates are connected forming a closed shape let's look at a demo i will remove this we will still use our array so let's create polygon options equals to path is the same you specify the array next we create polygon object new google dot maps dot polygon and pass the options and let's set it set a map to this object set map map now let's save and reload the page we see it's the same coordinates from california to new york and mexico but since the polygon it completes the shape and draws a line from mexico to california by default this looks you no know, it's a black color line and a kind of a gray background i mean a fill shape this can be customized with these options similar to polyline stroke color say red and fill color say some kind of uh, blue let's reload so it's really green so you can customize the colors and also opacity using fill opacity attributes polygons are useful to represent a shape say it can be any shape it no need to be a rectangle or triangle you can set any number of coordinates and it draws a line basically that's how that's what is used to draw the states boundary city boundaries thank you for watching please visit jettings.com for more videos